part one of the video, beer making, here we have our stuff. And this stuff includes malt, malt extract, and then we got some dry malt extract. We got some yeast, and then we got some hops. They're in this green bag, or this, this silver bag. These ones are the uh, aroma hops. Very exciting. Um, these are the bittering hops. We've got our cleaner stuff, our how-to. And we're already on step one. Next time we'll make a better better video, but... That was not cool. <laughs> Here we have our bottles we're gonna use. We're still cleaning those. Uh, step one is steeping the grains. Those are my socks in there. And uh, so we have, uh, it's like a pound and a half of grains in some 160 degree water. And they just kind of sit in there for 20 minutes. And you can see they make this nice like, Colored, this colored liquid, and it smells really good. So this one's uh, gonna be a porter. I think it's pretty, pretty dark already. But uh, what steeping the grains does is it releases the sugars from the grains, and then those are later going to ferment into some tasty alcohol, and be really good. And so that is uh, step one of the beer brewing process. Woo! All right, here we have our next step after the grains have uh, steeped, aka sat in water for 20 minutes. You uh, take the grain bag out, you let it drip, and typically you're gonna wanna pour a little bit of water over the top of it. Uh, you wanna make sure you get all those, those nice sugars out of the grains for lots of great flavors and uh, for the yeast. The yeast to eat and poop out some alcohols. Alcohol. All right, next step, after we Grain, grain bags. We gotta get this water to a boil. So as you can see, we got these flames pumping. We're gonna bring it to a boil, and then we're gonna add our malt extract. Next step, uh, our water was brought to a boil, and now we're adding the uh, dark DME, as it's re referred to in the recipe, dark malt extract. Uh, you wanna turn the heat off when you do this, so it doesn't melt to the bottom. I believe is the reason I could be wrong. And, uh, you want to keep stirring so it doesn't get stuck on the bottom as well. So we're going to throw that, pour that baby in there. We just poured another gallon in there. And then we're going to add our, our light malt extract here to the mixture. And then we'll film the next step from there. Our, our light malt extract. Mitchell wanted this to be on camera. So we're just going to pour this baby in. Stir it up real good and then we're going to go to the next step. So our water is boiling as you can see. And now we are going to add the hops. These, little, these are uh, concentrated hops. This is not how they grow off a plant. And uh, this is for Bill. Bill, I know you love hops, and I know you love the word hops. It's a bit hoppy. It's a bit, it's a bit hoppy. Every beer has uh, some sort of hop, hops. These are the bittering hops, and you add them early on in the brew cycle. Um, this it's going to have to boil for 60 minutes, and so all of the... Uh, Stuff that we need to come out of the hops will come out over that hour and it won't leave any of the nasty, uh, terribly bitter flavors because the bitterness is going to boil out over the 60 minutes, which is great because we all don't like bitter beer. So uh, at 15 minutes, we're going to add the aroma hops, which give the beer a nice, a nice uh, smell, obviously, aroma hops. And those ones we just added, we've got another pack that we got to add there too, um, are the bittering hops to to help create some alcohol. And uh, this is this is water boiling. Yeah. <laughs> Here we're adding our uh, aroma hops, some Tetanang pellet hops. Uh, alpha is about 4.8. Alpha doesn't really matter that much for these. Everything's pretty much under five for aroma hops. More hops. Hops, 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 oh my god, hops! <laughs> you have anything to say? Hops! <laughs> so we got those, uh, it's got 15 more minutes. We're adding this at uh, 45 minutes. 45 minutes to the boil. We got 15 more minutes and then we're gonna, uh, we'll be done and then we'll go from there. All right, so next step uh, after we put the aroma hops in at 15 minutes and now uh, the 60 minutes is up, and so now we put it in a nice, it's supposed to be an ice bath, like ideally you want to have the sink full with ice so that it can cool down quickly, but uh, we don't have enough ice. So we just got in some cold water. As you can see, it looks really attractive. 
grab a cup. <laughs> Eventually it'll look real good, but uh, yeah, so we're going to cool it, and then we're going to transfer it into the, the first tub and add the yeast, and we'll go from there. Put our wort, uh, as it's called, into our primary, which is just a bucket. Nice color to it. Nice chocolatey, roasted color. It's gonna be great. Probably attributed to all the malts and the great grains. Whoop. Don't see anything at all. All right. So now we're gonna go fill this up with five gallons of water. We're gonna throw the yeast in there, and then we're gonna let it sit for a week and a half. Ready go. So we're gonna fill this thing up to five gallons. I think the real pros use uh, distilled water, but uh, we're not that fancy. You know, distilled water would probably be uh, a lot better. Yeah, I read something about that because there's like stuff in in the water, but you know that's that's too bad. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna fill this thing up, five gallons, and then. Take gravity reading and then we're pitching the yeast. Ooh, try our beer with this. So after we get our five gallons of water, you gotta stir it up. Uh, make sure it's all mixed together. And we'll go with our gravity reading. Stir that good. Stir that good. Yeah. So here we are taking the gravity. Um, because this is a kind of an original recipe, sort of, we don't really know what the gravity is supposed to be, but we know it's supposed to be high. Uh, well, gravity tells you, you take a, a measurement at the beginning and you take one at the end and it tells you what percent uh, ABVs, uh, what percent alcohol haul your, your beverage is. And uh, I, I don't know exactly what it measures, I'm sure everybody else does. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Just kidding. But uh, yeah, so this is the last step and then we're gonna throw the yeast in there. So here we have a airlock and this is gonna go on the, uh, the top of our container. It goes in here and that's so when the fermentation's going on, carbon dioxide can be released out of here and then there'll be some little bubbles and it also helps us to uh, monitor the fermentation when there is, first couple days when there's vigorous fermentation, there'll be a lot of bubbles coming out and then later on there will be no bubbles and that's how you know it's uh, just about done fermenting in the primary. Now it is. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pitch the yeast. Uh, this is the last step uh, in terms of the brewing portion. Don't look. Everything we do is very sanitary, by the way. Sanitar sanitization cannot be emphasized enough. So we're just gonna uh, sprinkle the contents of the yeast in here and Yeast is essentially what's, what eats all of the uh, sugars and the malts that's in the, the wort, as it's called, and as Luke put it, poops out alcohol and makes this lovely, lovely tasty beer. Once you add this, you've created beer. Beer is on its way. This is now officially considered beer by the Michigan State Laws. So we're going to put this in there, we're going to stir it, we're going to throw our cap on, pop our airlock in this little spot here. And then it's going to sit for probably two weeks. We're going to let this one sit for a while. Two weeks in this, and then we're going to put it for 